So you're thinking about robotic sanding. This is a very exciting uh, moment in your career and it's monumental in the woodworking industry. And our machine was designed with lean manufacturing in mind with a bunch of lean principles, you know, like quality at the source where the question is, the answer is, you'll see our machines have decals of what all the settings should be, where they should be, um, just trying to make it really user friendly. And someone suggested, hey, you guys solved a huge problem that you should share with the rest of the world. And what we've done is we've taken those thick manuals that you get with every machine. We've tossed that in the garbage because no one reads them anyway. And what we do is we make cool videos to show your operators exactly what to do and why and how. And so we thought, okay, we're gonna post one of these out in the public domain, just to give you a little glimpse of what it's like to be a Stolbeck customer and what our um, manual videos look like. You get access to our website, your own portal with all of these videos. And we also leave you with a binder with QR codes that your operators right at the machine, if they're struggling, they scan the QR code and they get the video. So here's one of the videos as a little teaser. Um, let us know what you think. So in this video, I wanna do a quick demo of the sander on delay. So what that means is, as the sander's approaching the part, at what point are we turning the sander on? So I'm gonna show you two examples. One where the sander's coming on way too soon, one where the sander's coming on way too late. I guess I should show you the sander coming on just perfect and how to set it. Ideally, you want the sander coming on just as it's touching the part. If you start it up high and it comes down to touch the part, what's gonna end up happening is the sander is gonna wind up and it's gonna burn through your primer. Or if it's starting too late, you'll notice it touches down, starts moving, and then when the sander comes on, the robot kind of jumps. It just looks a little bit violent. So we'll show you how to get that timing just right. So this is where the sander's coming on a little bit too late and you gotta be pretty quick. We're measuring this in milliseconds. We'll slow it down even more and zoom in and hopefully you can really see what we're talking about. See as the sander approaches, it touches, starts moving, and then turns on. So now I'm gonna demonstrate coming on a little bit too soon. Full speed, you've gotta be pretty quick, but let's slow it down and watch that sander. It starts to wind up before it touches the part. And if you do that, you get some sand throughs. All right, so you've seen the two extremes now, just like the three little bears. Let's show it to you just right. And before we run the sander, I'll just show you the settings. It's just a couple of clicks. You just hit settings and you go over to here to sander on delay. Now we control all of the sanders with a delay. And so the first time we set it, we put a 300 millisecond delay, which you just set to 300 and you saw that was turning on way too late. The next one we set at zero millisecond delay and it was coming on a little bit too early. So this time we set it at 100 and you'll see the sander comes on at exactly the right time. So at full speed, it's almost impossible to detect, but let's slow it down and watch that as soon as it touches, it turns on and goes. Uh, and there you have it. All of the sanders can have that same control in the setting screen. I'll just run you through the screen one more time, but that's how you get your sander coming on at exactly the right time. So one more time through the screen, you just go to settings, sander on delay, and you can see we control every pass with a delay to make sure it's perfect. So if any of this is unclear or you need some further help getting your machine dialed in, don't be afraid to jump on the WhatsApp chat that was created for your company and reach out. We're here to help. I almost forgot. That's another cool thing that we do. Every customer that buys a machine from us, we create a WhatsApp chat with your whole team and my whole team. And that way, if you have any trouble at the machine or you're curious about something or just need a tip, then you post that video picture or question on your group chat and someone's gonna get back to you instantly. It's a great way to get instant answers and we're not doing the good old fashioned, pick up the phone, call the service guy, get his voicemail, leave a message, he calls you back. Forget all that, we want answers and we want them now. Anyway, there's a glimpse of what it's like to be a Stolbeck customer. We'll talk to you soon.